821 on a Thursday. Welcome back. We're talking about Great Lakes, not the Great Lakes, but I guess all the lakes are great in our region and how important they are to our livelihoods and to health and to food and to our culture. Uh, great Food, Great Lakes is an event coming up at the Tet June 1st and it's going to be one of eight events taking place throughout Ontario, Kingston representing with this installment and here to talk about that is the project lead Chris McLeod. There's yeah. art involved and that's where Andy Bird comes in. There's food involved and that's where Chef Ozzy from Black Dog Hospitality Group comes in. How would you set this up? It's a celebration of lakes. Yeah, the, you know, Great Art for Great Lakes is really, it's all about, uh, it's about public participation, it's about connecting people to our lakes. You know, here in Kingston, everyone knows there's a lake there, but, um, you know, do we have a full understanding of the importance of the lake that's there and everything that it does for us. So the event tonight really a big part of it is about introducing Andy as our artist. She's going to be doing a public engagement project and about uh, bringing in, in, in good food and uh, some good good suds from McKinnon uh, as, as sort of as a celebration to get everyone in the room to be sort of talking about like why we love Lake Ontario. And it is so important to our livelihoods and I think people as a Western culture, I think we take for granted the importance of water. When yeah. there are some communities up north, yeah. it is tragic. Yeah, no, it's happening overseas in developing countries. Yeah. Yeah. To march, you know, ten miles for a bucket of water, we take it for granted. Yeah, we totally do. So it's, uh, you know, a big part of, uh, you know, what we're trying to do is sort of bring people back to it, to sort of, uh, you know, uh, give them a new, uh, a renewed perspective on really how lucky we are mm -hmm. and what we can do for our lake it's you know it's easy to say you know, it does all these things for us but what can we do for it like how can we how can we help conserve it how can we how can we take care of it well part of this evening is about art andy explain the um community component you're asking people to assist you in developing some art. Absolutely. How's that going to be done? It's going to be done in a couple of stages and we're going to be starting tonight with introducing the project um, and sort of familiarizing people with what we are trying to achieve. Um, my art practice is part of it is largely focused on the lake so um, I think that's why I was able to tie into the water lution at this time and um, part of it involves just going for walks along the lake and then I find debris objects. And uh, in particular, the, one of the focus points on this project, which is going to be called Aqua Viva, is about life in the lake, life, the life of water. And in particular, the life of water that I've observed is that we have beaver along our waterfront. And so these are beaver sticks. So, so they gnaw on them? They peel the bark. You can see where they've cut the hmm. ends of the, of the, of the sticks from the, from the trees and then they peel the bark and that's what they eat. Um, in, in terms of the community project, one of the things that we're going to be looking at is how to create sticks as part of our relief sculpture that's going to be a wall work at the Tet Center. So you're using clay? Um, we're going to use clay. Tonight the engagement piece is going to be using clay to create texture um, that kind of is, is reminiscent of water. Um, and so we're going to be taking little pieces of clay and everybody gets and involved make, that's and you, right you talk through yeah. everyone what they have to do yeah and we're going to be making little clay stamps that people can come back to in the next session yeah june 21st and 20th which will be june that's right june 21st and 28th <laughs> so, so the kickoff is tonight at the tet that's yeah. right so it's more of a celebration tonight that we're and just to introduce the project well, we think of lakes too. We think of recreation. We think of you know uh, life-sustaining importance, but we also think of food, and that's where uh, Chef Ozzy from Black Dog Hospitality Group comes in. Uh, what's going to be served tonight? This is uh, from a lake. This yes. is trout. Yes. So we've got rainbow trout here. Uh, just a little bit of a uh, poke uh, marinade here. Okay. Going to be mixing that up. This is what you'll feed people tonight. This is exactly what we're going to have tonight. Just a little bit more uh, fancier later on tonight. Okay, yeah, because yep. this is for television. Absolutely. And you have these little cones. Yes, so you got sesame waffle cones there. So basically, just gonna do a little bit in there. Well, a little okay. And then we got some. I saw you put some nice thing in there. Yeah, so it's just a little bit of oil, olive oil. Okay. A little bit of salt. And it, this is just a little bit of a uh, little blend of microgreens from Patrick Gardens, another local business. I'm sure a lot of chefs are familiar with. Yeah. And um, some sesame seeds. A little bit of sesame seeds right there on top. And there you go. It's 
you would like to try that I can out? try this? Absolutely. So this is a, a to, little... Um, rainbow Trout Poke. Rainbow Trout Poke? Yes. Okay. <laughs> and again, give us the details for the importance of this uh, this evening. This is the first installment for Great Food Great Lakes yep. tonight. Yeah. It's uh, it's about bringing people out. It's about... Uh, you know, having it's about it's about dialogue and it's about celebration. Yeah, so that's really what we're looking for. You know, Andy's going to be there. We're going to have lots of great chefs there. Um, you know, it's and and we've got some interactive uh, sort of participatory things that are happening to to really allow people to sort of have a have a great talk about the lakes and uh, what they love about them, and uh, what they think they can do. And and it's just yeah, it's all it's all about having a good time and. Uh, uh, bringing people together to, to really reflect. Thank you so much. It's so important. Uh, we thank you guys for coming here. And Ozzy, I love your album, Bluetooth of Oz. That was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> right. Bye, Ozzy. We'll see you after the break.